What's happening guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about trim. So I have multiple different products right here and they're all designed to restore trim. So if you guys have old plastics on your car that are unpainted, more often than not, the sun is going to deteriorate it, the UV rays are gonna break down the plastic and typically the plastic starts to turn a lighter color. So the car behind me is my Mini Cooper. Now the products that I have here that I'm gonna be comparing are all designed for trim, but some of them you can use for more than just that. So to make a fair comparison for every one of these products, I'm gonna be putting one product on each fender and I'm also gonna be putting a little bit also on the cowl. Before I do that though, I have to prep it. So after washing the car and after cleaning every single one of these panels, Using an isopropyl alcohol wash and a new fresh wash mitt, you can wipe down the entire area, clean it up, and that way we're gonna start off with basically a blank canvas. You don't want any kind of oils or dirt to contaminate the process that we're doing right here because I wanna try and make it as even and fair as possible. So the way that I'm gonna be consistent with every one of these products is I'm gonna be using a new applicator for each and every one of them. So I'm gonna be applying one of these products to each section of the cowl. I'm gonna be applying the same product to one arch and one tire. And we're gonna see after a little bit of time which one has held up the best. So let me show you how to apply each one of them. This first product here is from a company called Lithium. This is a solvent based product that you can apply to pretty much any kind of trim that you have on your car. If it's black, you can apply it to it. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of this on the arch and a little bit on the tire as well. Now you can do that with a product like this and it will last a pretty long time. The issue with this though is that if you put too much, let's say on the tire, it can sling off. So make sure that you guys just don't go too crazy with this or make sure that you follow it up with a rag and wipe off any excess. This next product here is from a company called Meguiar's. You guys have probably heard of them, they're a rather big company. And this product here, Ultimate Black Plastic Restorer, is designed for plastics only. So this will work on the plastic side molding for the fender flare, and it will also work for the hood cowl. However, this isn't necessarily designed for tires, but we're gonna give this a shot. The same thing goes for this product here from Meguiar's. It's called Back to Black Trim and Plastic Restorer. So you would use it on the same kind of areas that you can as the Meguiar's product. It's meant for plastic pieces and trim pieces. If you guys have a Jeep and you've got fender flares that are made out of plastic, the OEM ones, you can use this to restore it and bring it back to life. Again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using this on the tires, but we're gonna give this a shot. Now this last product here is from a company called G-Technic and it's a C4 permanent trim restore. This is not a solvent based product like the other products, this is a ceramic coating. So once you apply this to the plastic trim piece, it will last a super long time and it'll also be hydrophobic. Now after my first initial impressions, just like from the install and the application, I gotta say the lithium probably looks the best and the application is probably the nicest too. So this is a solvent based product and as you can tell it gives a really nice shine and because it's a solvent based product this should last a while too. The Mother's Ultimate Black has an interesting smell. It looks pretty good but I mean I guess we're gonna all be able to tell after the end of this which one is best. This looks like it's a little bit nicer on the plastics but I wouldn't say it's so great on the rubbers. The Mother's Back to Black seems like it did a really good job um, at restoring the plastic trim and at rejuvenating the rubber. Now, I gotta say, it's not exactly a rubber coating. It's not exactly something for tires, but it seems like it did a pretty good job. Last but not least, the G-Technic C4 seems to have the most OEM look to it. So it does a really good job at restoring the plastic trim right here. That's a part of the arch. Now, I wouldn't exactly say it's ideal for tires. You can see that it's not exactly meant for it. It's a ceramic coating. Now the real question is going to see how each one of these products does in the test of time. So I have all four of these products here. They're all relatively inexpensive, um, but we're gonna see after one day, after three days, after a week, maybe even more than that, to see which one of these products is best for the application. So after all this amount of time, I'm gonna be able to tell you which one is best for plastic, which one is best for rubber, if any of them are at all. So we're gonna find out in a little bit. So after the first couple days, there wasn't really that much of a difference. The trim all looked very good in their own way. To make the test more realistic, I did a couple things. So first off, the car was always left to sit outside for over three weeks. Day or night, rain or shine, it was left outside to be weathered. In addition to that, I pressure washed it, I hand washed it, I even used a degreaser soap to try and strip back the coating. There were times where I'd wash it multiple times a day. One thing that I really enjoyed was how much better the water would dry off of the freshly coated plastics. It never used to do that before, and it was still just as good after a week of washing. So some of the coatings did better than others, but they all did pretty good. Now I gotta say, it doesn't matter which coating you end up choosing, they're all going to be better than nothing. 
So starting over here on this corner, we've got the Lithium Trim Serum. This did a very good job and it was probably the most consistent at doing a very good job at protecting the rubber, restoring it, bringing it back to life, and the same thing with the plastics. Now it's not even like it's slimy or anything, even though it's a solvent-based product. So after it's sitting inside the sun, after it's cured, and let's say five minutes after the first initial install, it's dry, you can touch it, and it's not gonna be greasy. The Meguiar's Ultimate Black did very good job too, but I wouldn't say that this is the best product out there given that this is designed for only plastics. I would say that it did a decent job at restoring the plastics and making it a little bit healthier looking, but I wouldn't say this is a good product for the rubber. So after all, I would probably stay away from this Meguiar product, which is kind of surprising because I typically tend to go towards their things. The Mother's Back to Black is a very similar install to the Meguiar's, but I wouldn't say that it did as good of a job. So the plastic trim is slightly restored. It looks better than before. This product isn't meant for the rubber, so obviously it didn't do a great job, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm impressed by these results. I would say this is definitely better than before, but it still could be better. Last but not least, on the last corner of the car, this is the G-Technic C4, and this product did probably the best at restoring the black plastic up here, which was its original job. That's what it's designed to do. I tried it on the rubber. It didn't exactly do a great job. It wasn't a good, easy install for the rubber. I would say that this product here was probably the best at bringing this back to life, and that's probably my go-to if you want to find a product that you just install once and you're done with. Now after concluding these tests over the last three weeks, I can say that I have two different takeaways. Now the first one is, do not let your 3M tape sit on the outside of a car, especially if it's gonna be sitting inside the sun and it's gonna be baking there. The adhesive on the backside of it is gonna separate from the actual tape and you're gonna have a sticky residue left over on your car. I had to clean that up on the cowl, it wasn't exactly fun. But as for the actual trim product, the product that I have right here from Lithium is probably the best all-arounder at restoring plastic trim and rubber. You can use this for both. You can buy one product and get it all covered with. If you guys are looking for a product that will give you the best, longest lasting result, I gotta say the G-Technic has it for me. It does a very good job at protecting the plastics, restoring it. It's a ceramic coating, so it will last easily over a year. However, you can't use it on rubber. If it was a product that does both, that'd be ideal. There probably is a ceramic coating out there that's designed for rubber, but if you guys want one product that does it all, the lithium is the way to go. If you guys are looking at picking up any of the products you guys saw in this video, you guys can find that info in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.